<clears throat> Here we go. This I wrote two years ago when my daughter, who's now 10, was eight, and I was not yet 40. I'm much wiser now. <laughs> My eight-year-old daughter has recently become interested in fashion. In response, last week, we bought her some fur-lined, snow bunny, patent leather boots at Target, and then she wore them to school the next day with her Peter Pan collared uniform. And let me just say that she totally rocked the house down. She looked so cool waiting for carpool that morning in those bad to the bone boots and her little drop waist pinafore. I just wanted to follow her around all day and admire her. <laughs> But here was the thing that got me. She didn't look like a little kid in those boots. She looked like a teenager. The next morning before school, as she and her brother ate breakfast and I packed lunches a good 15 minutes behind schedule, she asked me to explain the difference between fashion and style. It's the kind of question that can stir up a milestone of some of life's great inquiries. What is the point of fashion anyway? And what does it say about social status, self-esteem, beauty pressure, gender politics, pleasure, self-consciousness, herd mentality, show-offiness, compulsive exercise, jealousy, voluntary semi-starvation, financial prowess, the male gaze, and the meaning of life. <laughs> <clears throat> Standing there with a knife full of peanut butter in my hand, I felt my brain sparking with a lifetime's worth of earned wisdom. <laughs> What would I say to my own eight-year-old self if I could, as she stood on the precipice of all the struggles that the long journey to womanhood was going to lay down in her path? If I could go back and find that goofy little bucktooth person I used to be and tell her something useful about growing up, something that might make it all just a tiny bit easier, what on earth would I say? Call your grandmother? <laughs> Try to see yourself with kinder eyes? Do not get that asymmetrical haircut. <laughs> but it's not supposed to be easier, is it? The beauty is in the struggle, after all. Bravery can only come from having something to be brave about. And the same with strength, tenderness, integrity, self-sacrifice, all the noblest things about being human. We are only as great as our struggles. We only become who we are in the face of them. I couldn't cushion my daughter's walk through life any more than I could go back and change my own. Here I am, almost 40, and I am grateful for more things than I can count. But more than anything, I am grateful to have learned how to be grateful. That's the difference between being eight and being 40. By 40, you've begun to learn what life has to teach you. By 40, you understand grief and sorrow and regret. By 40, you know deep in your bones, in a way that you never possibly could have when you were younger, that time isn't really linear. One day, you are eight years old, and your mother knows everything in the world. And the next day, even though it's thousands of days later, you are that same mother to someone else, and you know everything she did, except it's not at all what you'd imagined. And you know something else, too, by the time you're my age. Nothing, none of it is going to last. And as heartbreaking as that is, it's also the thing that makes every single second matter. And so back to fashion. <laughs> Can a pair of fur-lined go-go boots help you live a better life? <laughs> and if I had known the answer to that question at eight, would I have made different choices? Would I have eaten less sugar or worn my retainer? <laughs> Would I have watched less TV? Would I have tried harder not to give up on all the things I've given up on? There's no way to know. And as I stuffed Nutter Butters into my kids' snack packs in the minutes before carpool honked in the driveway, there was no time to figure it out. But my daughter was still waiting for an answer, the way daughters do. And the moment was going to force me to come up with something. As I steered her into the bathroom for toothbrushing and hair detangling, I heard an answer rise up out of me that felt so right, I am still thinking about it days later. Fashion, I told her, is what you do before you have figured out your own style. I don't really know if that's universally true. I don't know if Tim Gunn would agree. <laughs> I could get myself all twisted around about it, but I won't. Is it true? It's true enough. Because of all the wise advice, I could write on a piece of paper for a little girl to fold up and lose at the bottom of her backpack. That's probably the one I would pick. Be who you are. Or maybe be as brave as you can. Or maybe after all, just 
be grateful.